Hello everyone, welcome back to Tokyo Zen DUEX Plus. Now let's choose the members so we have for this day of this section. We're gonna choose Mizuki. And we're gonna choose Um Asuka. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we're good at the Arcus Tower, huh? <laughs> I still find it weird that there that's the town mascot anyway. That little doll thing right there. I should let the other Spock members know about Kamiya. Today's their anniversary show, so they are probably at the theater now. If worse comes to worse, we can get the hospital to explain things to everyone. For now, we should try to find some more clues. Let's go talk to with the front desk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's see. We want to basically Yeah, we wanted to go over to uh, the reception office over here. So let's get over here. Hello there. Thanks for coming despite all the rain. What can I do for you today? Sorry to tell you this, but we explained that we had news regarding Reno for Spaka. Hold on just a moment, please. Hello? Yes, yes. I just got word from their manager. He wants you guys to come to the theater right now. Please use the elevator. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go. We headed to the theater. The group was in the midst of rehearsals. While we explained what happened to Reno, to, uh, to Spaka's manager. What exactly are we going to tell them? We cannot put down everything, I don't think. He looks like a regular dude. She collapsed due to a high fever and has was sent to the hospital. Actually, that's believable. I mean, I couldn't get in touch with her at all, but I wasn't expecting anything like this. The show, will she recover in time for the concert? Probably not, at least for now. No way. Let's go. Oh, hey guys. Is it really true? Did Reno really collapse? Did Reno really collapse because of a fever? What am I doing just standing here? I need to call the producer right now. Sorry everyone, uh, I have some calls to make. Yeah. Um, it's Tosuka, right? Could you tell us what happened in detail? If it's about Reno, we have the right to know, too. Okay. Almost Mercury-like. I can feel their gaze burning into my soul. Agreed. They are really amazing in person. So Reno is really... I'm really sorry. I told you guys to leave everything to me too. 
No need to apologize, and thanks for letting us know about everything. I have to admit, I'm kind of shocked, but I am glad to finally know what's going on. With all of the strange stuff happening, I want no wonder the anxiety got to her. I wish she would just told us about it all. Dumb Reno. Yeah. The strange stuff you mentioned. When did it start happening? I want to say about two weeks ago. It was around the time when we came back from the hot springs trip. It seemed like every time we played live, something would happen. It was all just weird coincidences. Jeez, how can she think any of it was her fault? Maybe, but you can't deny that Reno really concerned about it. I guess we told them everything up to the random angel stuff. She actually seemed scared during that show we did a couple of days ago. Really? That's right. The two of you, you have known Rio for quite a while now. Yes, we know each other since we started training school. So, about five years now. Though, to be honest, I didn't really like her then, and I don't really like her now. Really? Because... Yeah. We're going to have to cut that part out. Of what? <laughs> She's just being coy. You guys always try to one up each other, but it's obvious you two are friends. That's not. You're not fooling anyone. That's not. That's just not. You guys really piss me off sometimes. Uh, I just remembered something. Mika, you know, during your debut. Oh, that's right. Something did happen then. What? Um, something? Yes, you see. Three years ago, when we were just starting out, there was definitely a paranoia phenomenon, a lot like the one that happened now. Three years ago? That's a long time. What? Really? This is my first time hearing about it. I we never felt it was worth telling you about. And at the time, the only thing that seemed to be effective was the sound equipment. Worse, it happened right after our debut performance. So we were still learning to work with each other. To say we were all feeling down would be an understatement, but Reno kept cheering me and Rika on. Right now, we have absolutely nothing to lose. Knowing that, we might as well keep going and see what happens at the end. Hearing her put things that way, it was like we had been to keep going, just to see when we where we end up. After that, things started falling into place and our performances got progressively better. Before we realized it, all of the strange stuff that has been playing us just kind of stop. Plaguing us? So, all this happened before? Got to admit, I'm kind of jealous. It's a heartwarming story and all, but not really related to what's going on now. Well, something similar happened to them three years ago. Minoria was uh, just starting to having weird stuff happen this year. The inconsistency between the two, that might be a clue in it and of itself. Sorry about taking up so much of your time. We should get going. Good luck with the anniversary show.
Um, everyone. It might have been too much to ask, but may I ask a favor of you? A favor from us? We have to do our final rehearsals for our anniversary concert. So, if you could, we want you to pass along a message to Reno. Trying to do everything by yourself and collapsing in a heap at the end. You bet I have a thing or two to say to her. You really need to be more honest with yourself. And I doubt Reno has given up on performing. She was looking forward to this moment more than anything. She loves singing more than any of us. Yeah, I'm sure she will drag herself on stage if she could. She gets really greedy about taking all the singing parts. <laughs> Sounds about right. Asuka. Yeah. But strangely, we all believe that in the end, we all be up on stage singing together. Is that so? I think Reno would be happy to hear all this. Seriously, your positivity is overwhelming. Well, back on topic. Hey, you guys, how about this for a message? Hmm. What? Right after that, we left the theater and then set up a conference call with Kyokya and the other team members using our xylophones. It's connected to a, a Another unusual phenomenon from three years ago, I see. But when, where, and how did Reno become affected with this angel possession? So wait a sec, she's been possessed for three years? And uh, this is all happening now? This sounds weird. And too convenient. Actually, we were wondering the same thing. Yuka, could you look into it from your side? From Reno's past, I mean. Of course, I'll get right to it. Well, there's really no way of knowing until we can we check it out. Be careful, you guys. Let's all do our best. Yeah, alright. Let's get going. Before we deliver the news, I want to see if we can find out anything else. Anything that has to do with Reno, right? Huska, I it sounds like you have something in mind. Yeah, we will poke around other parts of the city. But first, we're going to her Aorochi. Actually, if Kamonia that clue me in about the abandoned factory. I was practicing trying to learn new techniques to improve my singing. A bunch of strange stuff started happening at the Kuroka place I usually went to. Oh, really? Kuroko? That sounds worrisome. Sounds like there's a very good chance of finding a clue there. We should definitely check it out. Alright, let's get going. Mm -hmm. But we first have a few things here to deal with first because we have a few character notes to find here and all. So let's get those going. We have Rotolo who's randomly here. Yo, looks, le looks like you all came. Rotolo, are you here for the concert? I thought it wasn't until tonight. I couldn't wait any longer. The time might pass faster if I'm here. <laughs> I guess that's true. It's the third anniversary of Spaka's debut. It's a big deal. I've got to give 100%, no, 120% as a fan. Even so, you're way too early. A lot of people are looking forward to this. We should try to do something for Kima before word reaches the fans. We have to do our best for Kamiya, Rota, and all the fans. Yeah, I, mean, I guess that's right, you know? Go? Something. 
don't work yourself up so much that you collapse before it even starts, okay? <laughs> I know, I know. The force of my mighty cheer will blow the rain clouds out of the sky. Oh yeah, this is happening on Saturday. I just noticed that. But yeah, there's some other people here and all from the schools and all. And some other fans we've noticed and all. Anyway, let's get to the next area we need to get character notes from. Because there's some character notes to get to. So, let's get to the next uh, location. That's at Honoria Academy. Yeah, the whole place is open up to us searching all. But yeah, I'm surprised we can actually go to the school on a day. So let me see if we can find the person we are supposed to look for. It's on the second floor. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I just need to check over here. Are you the two people? Yes, you are. I'm doing editing on my day off. Oh, you're the film guy. Looks like I can make something from the scene we filmed last night. Hmm, but something's missing. Okay. So they do editing work on their weekends. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Anyway. Let's scale onwards. And all there is... Let's see. Let me check... At the mall, see if we got everything updated at the mall. Because we can do another fortune telling thing, I think. Okay, let's get to the fortune area. Let's see. Oh, we cannot do anything right now. I already did everybody to this point. Okay. Anyway, we guess we can talk to our friends. So let's do that first. Let's see. Oh, we have Toa at the Academy. Let's check out what she's doing. I think I saw her in the second floor, right? Turning our map. Yeah, she's in our club location. Yeah, we should probably tell her what's going on in all with Reno. So let's go to our club location. <laughs> there you are. Everyone, I heard about Kamoya. I've been analyzing and keeping track of where Eclipse have been appearing. I haven't uncovered anything yet. That's so. It's still hopeful though, Toa. If you find anything, let us know. In the meantime, we'll investigate a different angle. We look forward to hearing from you, Miss Kona. We'll let you take care of this. Yes, and you as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's go to the next area. June's at Station Square, huh? Let's see, where is he here? Let's see if I can find June. Let's see. Oh, there you are. June, you came to the station? Yep, I need to buy something. Oh, I see you guys are here as well. You're at a club, huh? <laughs> we need to take care of a few things. Unfortunately for us, it's raining. Oh, that's right. Did you guys hear about the live concert? It's going to be on TV. They're even going to air it live on the huge electronic billboard. Yuck, because so excited that it's Rubbed off on me that I'm looking forward to it too. Hope Kamaya and the others do well. Yeah. We must bring Kamaya back no matter what. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Let's check the bookstore for a second. I want to check the bookstore for a second. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to check what was going on here. Anyway, let's get out of here and get to the next location with friends and all. Oh, sure he's at the shrine? What's she doing in the shrine? Is 
Yuri, what are you doing at the shrine? I was shopping over on Shopping Street, and I realized, well, I have a small wish. A wish? That everything you want to do, Ko, I'd be really happy if they turn out well. Like your club, and your part-time job too. Oh. Why are you wishing about my stuff? Oh, Tosca's lucky. <laughs> Everyone's here, so I'm guessing you're getting ready for some of these big something, right? Don't give up, Coke. I know you can do it. <laughs> Got it. See you later, Shuri. <laughs> Let's do our best, everyone. That's random information. Anyway, let's... Actually, I want to check something on my new R thing. Second. Nah. That's the idea enough. No, we're not going to check with Grandpa. We have... Our friends here at... Here to check on. Let's see. Oh. They're here in front of the... Their home. Their home and all. Mrs. Mizuki and everyone else, good day to you. Hello, Kira. I take it that you're already visited Kamoima's house? Mia's house? Yes, her parents were understandably quite worried. I informed them that she was in stable condition right now. That's all we can say. We better hurry for the other Spaka members and city in general. What do you plan to, on doing now? I think I'll return to headquarters and see if I can gather more information. As for the other XRC members, they'll be scoring the city while keeping an eye on things. Ko seems to have an idea, so I'll leave that in your care. If something goes down, call me and I'll be there. Yeah, please take care. Other than that, the team saw Kyoka off and they put our plan into action. Mm -hmm. Are they still here? No, they are not. Mm, yeah. Okay. Actually, we're actually going to end the video here. It's gonna, I want to keep this at uh, regular length. So, I we're going to end the video here, and we're actually going to do Ari Gotro stuff next time. So, see you all next time. Bye.